Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I'm really excited about this project today. I have gift cards that I have found to be so precious to me because the design was cute, obviously llamas. Also because a friend gifted me the gift card or for many other reasons, maybe they signify a trip we took. And this one, although pretty common, was actually from a trip we took. So I have made these into tiny little journals and I want to show you how I did that. So the first thing obviously you're going to need is a gift card. They measure three and three eighths inch wide. That is between three and a quarter and three and a half on your ruler. So I'm gonna show you a picture right here, what it looks like to cut that on your paper trimmer. And then the height is two and one eighth inches, and that is between two and two and a quarter. So you want to get all your papers cut first. Now you'll notice that these are rounded, really well rounded compared to these. For this, I used the We Are Memory Keeper Corner Chomper, the half inch. And this, I used a different corner rounder entirely because it's a real small one. So that is one tool that I found handy to use for this project. Now, in order to use the discs, there's many different ways. I'm going to show you what I'm using. I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers one. This one does one hole at a time, but it's strong and it chomps through the plastic cards. Now, the it, you can do two holes here. They are an inch apart. And because this is such an odd measurement, what I do is I go ahead and cut a paper to match that size. And I fold it in half lengthwise. Okay, and then I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to measure a half inch to the left. Actually, because of what I'm going to do in my video later, I'm going to go ahead and mark a half inch both ways, left and right, and you will see why. Oops, I did not mark that one right. Now when you do this, let's grab one of our cards. Okay, so let's use this one for example. This one, all you have to do is lay your paper on there, get it lined up, especially on the bottom. Now this has at the top a little line, and I have colored mine in on black, hoping that you could see it a little better. Line this up, put this in all the way as far as it will go, and line up that line, excuse me, this black line with the line on your paper and punch. And that's all you have to do. Now, when you come around here for your second one, you're going to line up. You're going to put that blue notch right into the hole you already did, making sure this is lined up on the bottom and that makes them perfectly lined up. Okay. This one I didn't do this way. I just punched one and then I used the guide to punch the second. They're a little balanced at the bottom. These are balanced perfectly. Now if you don't have one of these, don't want to get these. I know that We Are Memory Keepers also is coming has come out with a new, oh kind of like their cinch machine but for disc punch. If you don't have that but you do have a good disc punch hole punch like this. This one's Levenger and it is strong. Again, you have to get through the plastic credit card and you only want to and you want to make sure that you, all your work always lines up. You can line this up okay, where you want it and I put a piece of tape here and I drew a line right against the gift card so that once I punch this from then on, all I have to do is line up my papers right on that line that I created and punch again, and it's really fast. And I folded the end of the tape under right here, so it would be really easy to remove that when I was ready. So that gives you another way of cutting those holes, but I'm going to show you another method later if you don't want to use cinch binding or use disc binding. Now every company uh, that makes these holes makes it a little different than other companies. Maybe they don't reach in as far. Maybe the little half circle is broad, um, higher. We don't know. They're all different. So I just want to say that these uh, discs that I'm using actually go with, let's see, 
These are Circa, so these are ones that lavender sells, so these would match this hole punch perfectly. So because I'm not using We Are Memory Keeper discs, it is a possibility that maybe yours won't spin as well. Like mine isn't perfect, but it still spins. So there's just a thought you might, if you're using this, you might want to get We Are Memory Keepers discs. Okay, so what we do, I use cardstock in, inside. Um, these ones here are lighter, like decorative paper instead of cardstock, but you'll find that they don't spin as easily or flip as easily as if you use cardstock. So let's talk about cutting that cardstock. Let's move this aside. Okay, now I can get by with my mini trimmer on this, and I want to show if you turn your eight and a half by eleven cardstock this way, and you and you cut it, uh, you do your three and three eighths, three and three eighths, three and three eighths. You will get three big strips with this left over. And then if you take those three and three eighths strips and you turn them this way and cut them through at two and an eighth, it will perfectly line up for four of these papers per strip for a total of 12 papers for every piece of cardstock plus, again, this left over. So if you cut it in that way, you will get 12 of these. So I do that, then I round all my corners to just to get ready. So once you have that, in order to get your uh, papers cut, I'm gonna turn this over and I can see where I drew my lines. So I'm going to trace those again. See, I already have punched my hole here, but I want to see these lines. So all I have to do is line them up on the side, line it on the side, and I just raised it up so I could see that line. Oops, a little more. I just need to see that line again to get that first punch. Once I got, once I have that, I do the same thing again about coming over. It's really fast. So usually what I do is I go through the whole stack and punch that first line right there and I just do all of them. Once I've got those, I can go through and do the second punch. They're so easy to do. So that helps you to get all of those so that the holes are exactly in the right way. So if you're wondering why I flipped it over instead of just doing this, and that's because I am imperfect in drawing my lines and I wanted to use the same lines I already did. It, you know, what if one of them is too far over to the left? Then they, they all will be. So that was just uh, my own little hiccup there that I do. So I mentioned you can use cardstock in here. The other thing you can do is product tags. So one of the things we did when we went to Disney, we just went to Disneyland, we bought really cute things that had these adorable product tags on them. And you could see I cut the holes there at the bottom. And these, although they're narrower, they are still really going to be cute in doing a, a journal with this gift card would be just adorable. Okay, you could also put uh, junk journal pages in here. Here I have just a ledger paper, more card stock. I thought this would be cute. I use Monopoly money, but I thought Monopoly money is really frail. So the first one I backed up onto printer paper. And then now in the, and then this time I just backed up two Monopoly monies back to back. I'm using a glue stick and I'm getting solid coverage on that so that I make sure that um, it's not gonna wrinkle. Some of your uh, liquid glues will cause wrinkling. I did round the corners, but I think that is so cute for a Starbucks thing. And then I also just use some of my junk pages here. So the sky's the limit. Okay, now the back you can just use a piece of cardstock, and I use one that's a different color here to match the green. This one, I actually used a piece of acetate, and same thing. It cuts really well with this punch. It did great. So that's another option for the back. If you don't have a disc punch system, and you want to do something similar to that, we can use book rings. Now, I also meant to say that these are the small discs and these are, they're called medium, but they are very large. I wanna show you uh, what else you can do. So on your template, all you need to do is draw one more line 
and I am going to go, I'm going to go a quarter inch up on the short end. Just have to cross through those two lines right there. And then if you take, um, I would actually want to do this probably on cardstock. It's not ne absolutely necessary, but I'm going to use my Crocodile hole punch and eyelet setter. And this pink one with the rose gold is in my shop. I'm going to use the large hole punch, which is 3 16 and I'm going to punch right over that cross right there. Okay, and that is my template. And I can trace that if I line it up. The um, For the book rings that I'm using, the smaller punch would work, but I think the rings don't they don't move as fluidly as they would with the larger hole punch. So do you see I have that there? Now that you have this, you could use your gift card to trace on all of these, and that would be a lot faster. Okay, so there you go. I have these really cute black book rings that I think are going to be adorable with this. Now, you can keep adding journal pages, and you can get really thick with that. These book rings are, they're about one inch. And I want to give you some ideas. These are gift cards that I had, and they're, they're unreloadable, and so I, but I think they're so adorable that I want to keep them. So what I'm thinking is, instead of making a journal out of this, I'm just going to use this to collect all of my gift cards. And more than that, I have another idea as well. Um, let's use this. Let's trace these. And I'll go ahead and assemble this while we're at it. Now, I already did cut these up to go in a disc, but I can fix that if I don't want to. And if I want to put them here... So now we have two. I could just put one in here now and then. You could also put photos in here. The mini photo thing I have, that HP sprocket, that makes tiny photos, which I think are two by three, which would still work well for this. The other thing I have is my credit cards. I will give you a link down below if you want to get your own Disney credit card, uh, if you want to apply. Um, I do, you earn points and also, don't be deceived if it says there's an annual fee. There's another option where you don't have, they have to have the annual fee. But the one of the fun things about it is that you can choose your design as often as you want. And so they'll send you the new card right away. It has a new expiration date and the new three digits on the back. But they are still, uh, they're so adorable. And then you have all these cute credit cards. And so I think they're just going to make a real cute, like, memorabilia notebook here for me. So I could make each one of these a cover, but the fact that it used to be a credit card is important because you still have the chip reader here, and that's hard to disable. The magnetic strip, I ran strong magnets across the back, and I scraped and covered up my numbers so I can show you on video, but they have the most adorable little images on the back too. But if I wanted to collect just my gift cards and my credit cards, what a fun thing that would be. And I have this nice chunky little book through the years of all my memories. But again, you have to remember that that credit card, you don't want this getting lost because the chip reader is still going to work and someone could still rip this off and get your number off the back. So if you wanted to put something like this in there, you could still do it. So even though I have this cut, I could cover that up. Now I see I have a problem here in that that's all black and it's going to be hard to see. I'm not sure if this white pen would show up. Ah, oh, it does. So I could still leave it like this. I could still leave the fact that I have those other holes punched and I could still put that in there if I wanted to keep these. But this would make a really nice uh, little book just by itself. Not necessarily for, you know, writing in, although you could take cardstock and completely cover up the backs of the credit cards, although you would lose the beauty of those cute emblems there. 
Another thing that you can put in here when you're doing, like I said, you could use junk journal pages, is that playing cards fit in here really well, too. A standard size playing card fits in really cute. You could use that for your back. You could also use your rewards cards for a cover if you no longer use them. This is my Best Western reward. I am never going to stay at Best Western again from a personal experience I had with them. So therefore, I have this card. Now I can use it. A lot of us use them as scrapers uh, to lay paint down in our mixed media, but you can only use so many. So I'm just using this kind of as a test on the hole punching, but you could use these if you wished. Uh, you could also use these as the back of maybe you're making a travel one. Let's say you're making a little travel journal. How cute to use your rewards card for that. And a lot of people don't even use their rewards cards anymore because the number is memorized in their phone or in their app or whatever. And they don't actually use the physical card anymore. So here are just some ideas for you. And I think you are going to have fun with this. I am really happy with this because... I get really attached to how cute these credit cards and these gift cards are from Disney. And I just had to share this with you. I think you're going to have a blast with it. These are so adorable. And I think there's so many possibilities. Anyway, you could make pockets. So much fun. Here, let me show you real quick here. Let's say we're going to make a pocket on this one. Grab another one. So all we have to do is bring this in here and trim off the top portion wherever you want it. I'm doing this at one and three quarters. And we will glue that down. I'm gonna put a little extra there just to give it security. Now, obviously, if I were going to do this for a project, I would use really cute paper instead of this. But now we have this little pocket there. Let's put this in here. And how fun is that? Oh, you know, we do need the other hole. Sorry, let's get that other hole in here. Put in there so I remember that that's a pocket. Isn't that fun? You guys, this is really cute. And I think you're going to enjoy it. So... Loads of fun, and oh, one of the questions I know I'm going to get is, is this still usable? In other words, can you give someone a gift of this and have them use the cover because it's it's an unused gift card? Well, you could see with Starbucks, yes, because there's the code right there, but these ones have a magnetic strip that we are punching a hole into, and this one is good because they scan it. So if they scan it, they could st your friend could still use it as a gift card there and there. But if this one with the magnetic strip, they're not going to be able to run this through the machine. The question is, when they tear out that little piece of magnetic strip, is it going to affect this? I don't know. But if they will use their scanner, which they do have at Disney stores, they can still scan that. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk it myself. I'm using this for used gift cards. Now I have another really adorable llama one, but I have glued it into a journal. I might just see about ripping it out of that journal and using it for a cover too. So thank you for watching. I hope that inspires you and gives you plenty of ideas on how you can do this yourself.